Hey guys, Coach Christy here, coming from you from our satellite location in Clifton, New Jersey, with some tips for ring dips, which you'll see in tomorrow's workout. So one major thing uh, that's different from this piece of equipment as opposed to other pieces of equipment is that it moves a lot, right? It's very flimsy, it's very pliable, compared to a, a plate or a kettlebell or a solid barbell, it's a solid piece of metal, or even a pull-up bar that's attached to the wall, right? There's a lot of movement in this piece of equipment. So it's gonna require us as the athlete to be that much more stable in order to control this piece of equipment. So core to extremity, you might have heard that term, means if your core is strong, your extremities are strong. So especially with this movement, we need to really brace from the midline and brace our core, which will help increase our proximal strength. And think about proximal strength as all your midline strength and pulling into the midline. So when I first hop up on these rings, my immediately reaction, immediate reaction is for my arms to come out. So I'm gonna to need to squeeze my arms in just to stabilize myself in this extended position. Keeping the arms close and also keeping an externally rotated position, which means my elbow creases are trying to rotate forward. I'm not rotating in and flaring the elbows out. So as I jump up, I spin the elbow creases forward. I'm creating a good solid position for my shoulder. And then from there, as you come into the ring dip, I want you guys to think of your chest coming forward a little bit, not just straight down, because if you come straight down on the ring dips, watch how my shoulders kind of just crunch up into my ears and I can actually run out of space. It also doesn't feel good, right? So there's gonna be a slightly forward movement of your chest forward in order to create that 90 degree angle that we wanna see with the elbows. So I'm gonna jump up, I'm gonna squeeze my arms in towards my side, in towards my midline, externally rotate the arms, take my chest forward, and try to get the rings to touch the tops of my armpits, and press up to full extension. Coaches will show you some modifications if you're not quite there. In the world of professional gymnastics, this is a very basic movement, but in our CrossFit functional fitness world, it's a pretty advanced movement. So please take a modification if this is not working for you, and the modification will get you there and the coaches will show you all that tomorrow. Good luck with these guys.